Hey guys, uh, this is something very simple, but uh, just wanted to put it out there. Somebody might find this useful. I've got one of these uh, civil defense meters from the 60s that run off a D battery uh, to measure background radiation. And I'm sick of replacing the D batteries. So, uh, put a uh, current meter in series and realized it didn't draw much current at all. And so I'm running off of 1.5 volt. So, uh, I just did a little bit of math and uh, just basic Ohm's law. Um, just made a little voltage divider. Chopped up a USB cable right here. Positive and negative. Um, got a positive, uh, it's not hooked up right now, I'll hook it up in a second. Coming into this side of, uh, this is a 70 ohm resistor. And they didn't have a 30, so I had to put a 20 and a 10 in series. That's these uh, other two resistors here. That one and that one. You take your voltage, your output, uh, ground would be down here. You take your output across the 30 and it gives you 1.55 volt, 50 milliamp. Um, you could use this for other purposes too. Uh, I guess anything that really ran, ran off of like a double A or a triple A 1.5 volt source. Uh, if you got different higher re uh, current requirements then you may need to uh, uh, you'd need to change your uh, value of your resistors, uh, but for this purpose, uh, 50 milliamps is fine. Although I should have went with half watt resistors instead of these little, I think these are quarter watt, because it does one of them does get a little warm. So uh, I'm just going to hook the positive lead. Uh, see if I can hold the camera and attach this tiny little wire. This is just the uh, positive side of my USB. Hook this to my breadboard. And I'll get my probe. And we'll come on this side of this resistor. Should have 5 volt. Come on, let's see. The white alligator clip is the uh, positive across the voltage divider. So, should we have about 1.5, 1.55 volt here. Except that I think my unit's turned on, so I'm having a bit of a voltage drop. I do have it connected. Uh, let me turn the meter itself off. Yeah, actually, I've got it. It's measuring right now. Um, so right now the meter is working. Uh, let me turn this off, and then I'll hold all the stuff at one time. I'm gonna turn the meter off so that we don't have any voltage drop whatsoever. But uh, I'll get some higher wattage. Uh, Resistors probably go with a half watt and get a grommet, and I'll probably just drill a hole on one of e one of either side and uh, waterproof it with a grommet and get a old USB cable, so I can just plug this up and not have to worry about batteries. But uh, anyway, the, the meter's off now, so if I measure again, if I can find my probe, I fell down here, huh? Anyway, I'm back. So I turned the meter off, and without a load, 1.58, 1 1.7 volt, and that's just coming across. Uh, like I said, I only used two resistors in series here because I didn't have a 30. So I'm just using a 20 and a 10, but basically across this 30 ohm resistor. Um, 
So I'd be getting 3.5 across the 70 ohm and your 1.5 across the 30 ohm. But like I said, I mean, you can use this for, I'm using it for this meter, but uh, just good to know. I mean, if you want to run your, uh, you could use the same little uh, voltage divider to power anything that runs off 1.5 volt. Um, like I said, if you want to uh, run something that draws more current, then you need to rework your resistor values to accommodate for that. Uh, but just wanted to share that. Take care.